Hi everyone, this is Wally and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. And in this tutorial, we will be creating this. If we start by creating a new composition, I will name it main. This will be our main composition. It's 1920 by 800 pixels, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Folder assets, go to image and I will drop down this image in my timeline. Right click my mouse, recompose it. I will name it logo placeholder. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Right away, I will duplicate it by pressing my keyboard Ctrl D. And right away, I will recompose it again. And I will name it Bevel Profile. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. I will double click my mouse to open it up and highlight this logo placeholder. Go to Layer, Layer Styles, Inner Glow. Open Inner Glow. Change the blend mode to Normal. Change the color from white to black and then the size I want to change it to 8. The technique I want to change this to precise. Now open the main. I will go to my project panel and drop down this image into my timeline. I will right click my mouse, recompose it right away and I will name it reflection. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Go to effects and preset, go to I stylize CC glass. Open the surface, change the bump map to bevel profile, change the softness amount to 0, height is 100, and the displacement is 250. Open the light and change the FX light to AE lights. Open the shading and change the ambient light to 100, and the rest will be 0. Then again, I will open my project panel and drop down this texture branch. I will right click my mouse and pre-compose it right away. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will name it branch. Move all the attributes again to the new composition, click OK and I will disable the visibility of this composition and I like the reflection. I will go back to effects and preset, add compound blur. I will make the maximum blur amount to 40. I will change the blur layer here to branch. Then I will check the invert blur. Go to effects and preset again. Go to stylize and I will add again CC glass. Open the surface. Change the bump up here to pebble profile. Change the amount here on the softness 0 and the height still 100. And the displacement map 0. Open the light and change the effect light to AE lights because we will make our own light. Open the shading again. Change the diffuse to 66, circular is 77. Go to effects and preset, go to channel and add set map. Change the set map from layer to logo placeholder. As you can see that it's already black background. If we will turn this off, enable the transparency, it's transparent on our background. So all I have to do is to add set map to maintain the black background. So now we will create light. So go to layer, new, and choose this light. Change the light type to ambient and the intensity, make it 50. And click OK. Go again to layer, add a new light. This time I'm going to be using this point light. We'll change the intensity here to 968. And the color, I will change it to blue. Press view on the position and change the value on your position. X I will change it to 80. I will change this to negative 430. And the Z I want to change this to 517.3. Press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. Change the intensity here to 600. And then I will change also the color, probably lighter color. Make it a bit like this. So it's up to you to choose what kind of color you want. I will press P on my keyboard for the position. I will change the value here to negative 1523. Y value, I will change this to 351. On the Z value, I will change this to 1244.3. Then I will highlight it again and press my keyboard Control D to duplicate it. Go to layer, light settings. 
and change the amount of the intensity probably 1921 change the color to white i will click ok press p on my keyboard for the position i will change the value here to 849.0 for the x value so i will not change the y value here i will just change the z value i will change this to 6030.3 duplicate the logo placeholder and press your keyboard control d drag this down here go to layer go to trace and check this apply to new layer and click ok now we will go to effects and preset video copilot and saver change the preset here to energy and change the color probably just a bit reddish okay the glow intensity change the amount here to 8 then open the customize score change the core type here to layer mask increase your glow bias we'll go back to the glow color we'll probably just make it brighter a bit and make a keyframe on the end offset make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of your timeline and move your playhead to the end of your timeline and make the end offset zero then go to layer create a new camera I'm using 50mm preset camera. Click OK. Again, go back to layer and create a null object. Drag both of these layers just below the light we have and enable the 3D layer on the null object. And then I will parent this camera to the null object. I will highlight these three compositions and I will enable the 3D layers. I will go back to my null object. Press P on my keyboard for the position. And I will move my playhead to the beginning of my timeline. Move the placeholder at the bottom, just above the logo placeholder. I will rename this Saber. And I will highlight all these compositions here and enable the 3D layers. Make sure that your playhead is at the 15 frames and create a keyframe. Then move back your Play it at the beginning of your timeline. Move this logo out of your canvas. I think that should be good enough. And I will go to layer, new null object. I will parent these three lights here to the null object. I will highlight this null object too. Press R on my keyboard for the rotation. Create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch at the beginning of your timeline. Move your playhead to about 3 seconds. Create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch. Then move your playhead to about at the end of the timeline. And change this rotation to 1. Let's try to play it. We'll check if the lights rotated. Yeah, it is rotating. I will go back to my project panel. I'll just rename this main logo animation. And then I will go to composition again and create a new composition. And this time I'm gonna name it main 1920 by 800. 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Then I will drop down this logo animation in my timeline. And I will go to my footage. I will drop down this ember as my background. Then all I have to do is to pre-compose it right away and I will name it ember. Move all the attributes into the new composition and click OK. I will also drop down this bug into my timeline right away pre-compose it and i will name it fog again i will move all the attributes into the new composition then i will toggle switch is modes in here change the blending mode to add i will also change the blending mode here on the ember add i will also change the logo animation blending mode to add drop down the footage here into my timeline and pre-compose it right away and i will name it fire shark wave
Enable the attributes including your composition, click OK. I will drop down this footage into my timeline and pre-compose it right away and I will name it Smoke Shockwave. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Then I will also change the blending mode here to add. Also the fire shockwave here, change the blending mode to add. So now I'm gonna go to layer, create a new solid, click OK. Move it down just above the ember and grab my shape tool. Choose the ellipse tool, double click it to create a mask. Open the mask and increase the feather like that and that should be good enough highlight this bug composition and press T on your keyboard for the opacity change the amount here to about 30% move your play backwards so you can see the movement so now as you can see that our logo is bigger than the shockwave here so I will move my play first to the 15 frames and move this shock wave on that duration and I will highlight this logo animation press S for the scale change the scale to probably 28 hit the stopwatch in here to create a keyframe then move my playhead backwards to the beginning of the timeline and I will make it 100% then I will move my playhead forward to about 4 seconds and change this amount to 100% and move your play it backwards again to about 14 frames change the value here to 100% then highlight the logo animation go to effects and preset go to transition and add this CC warp matic I will move my play to about 15 frames and change this completion to 20 hit the stopwatch in here to create a keyframe and change the warp amount to about 486 and then move my play it forward to about 4 seconds and change the completion to 0 I will highlight these two compositions and just drag down below the logo animation and I will toggle switches in here and I will enable the 3D layers change the view to 2 view horizontal and I will highlight this ember drag it at the back most like this and also the logo animation I will drag it probably here and it should be good enough I will highlight the ember press S on my keyboard for the scale I just want to change this to one view increase the scale and also highlight this logo animation press S on your keyboard for the scale scale it up as you can see that our energy here is not that vibrant in terms of color all I have to do is to go back to my logo animation go to saber change the color here to ff5501 move your player to about 3 seconds and 15 frames and then move this saber composition and that duration by pressing your keyboard open bracket key so now open the main and let's see what happens we'll change the resolution to a quarter we don't want any distortion especially during the first 14 frames in our animation okay all we have to do is to go to the logo animation press you on your keyboard and move your playhead more than frames duration make the completion here on your warpomatic zero so there will be no distortion at the start double switches modes enable motion blur that should be good enough so guys that's it for now our tutorial is done I hope that you enjoy our tutorial and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and for those people who already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much, I appreciate it a lot. And my thoughts for today guys is that always improve yourself through learning. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next tutorial. God bless.